Greetings citizens of the internet, this is Rendog coming at you from the world of StarCraft 2 in this Let's Play StarCraft series. How's everybody today? I'm good, I'm ranked 53 in Gold League, 6 wins, and uh, I am playing another 1v1 ladder match in an attempt to get better at StarCraft 2 and get all the way up to the higher leagues. But um, of course to do that we need to do some practice and uh, that's exactly what this series is about is us playing StarCraft 2 together and trying to get better at this sweet ass game. So let's do this guys. This is a ladder match in Gold League and I am up against a Zerg opponent. So ZVZ mirror match. Rendog versus Patafu whoa, 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 on a Shattered Temple and we will see you in the game on the other side of this. So yet another ZVZ, guys, and we know what ZVZ is all about, man. ZVZ is all about Zerglings, Banelings, um, and of course, being able to switch um, tech at the right moment. So that being Roaches or, in fact, going Mutalisks in the air. And uh, this is on Shattered Temple, and we know that there's a close spawn over here. So if we spot him over there, um, we're going to be able to know he's there or he's going to be in one of the other spawn locations. Um, so, it's very, very risky going 14 hatchery in ZVZ, obviously, because if um, your opponent goes 6 pool and just 6 pools you, then you just die. So I think a good safe build is to go over pools. So that's building a spawning pool directly onto your first overlord. And, um, of course, that allows you just enough time he's, he's not here you we would have seen the creep here um, it gives, gives you just enough time to be able to build um, some spine crawlers and some zerglings by the time his six pool zerglings get to you um, so that is always uh, always the plan I think it's always a good plan I think um, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing and we're going to be building our spawning pool in this location here to try and create like a, a, a good a good solid wall um, right here um, in case he has gone uh, quick zerglings and we don't know where he is right now he could be here or he could be here so we're going to be scouting and um, droning up and of course waiting for our spawning pool, our spawning pool to pop um, after which we can build a couple zerglings just in case and I think at this stage because we don't know where he is it's pretty it's pretty okay he's just sent his his drone has just come from up here, so I, I'm guessing he's he is coming. I, I'm guessing he's in this location here, and if he is, in fact, um, I'm going to hold off on building any drones or anything because I want to see if he if he's gone 14 hatch. I'm going to build some some quick zerglings, um, and I just want to check if he's gone. Nope, he hasn't. So. I'm going to drone up again. Drones in an overlord, and I want to see how far he, he is on his spawning pool. So his spawning pool is out, and god damn it, he's got gas already. Um, something which I failed to do, so... Already failing slightly in this <laughs> ZVZ. And I think um, that's, it's not a good thing, let me tell you. Um... Right, so this is going to be control group 5, this is shift 4. And he's going to have speed way before me, that's that's for damn show. And he's just built his um, spawning, uh, his second hatchery, so that's exactly what I'm going to do um, to... Man, I've got just a, a shit ton of unspent resources. This isn't going well, guys, let me put it that way. Right, he's coming in with some zerglings. Our forces are under attack. And I'm gonna lose my overlord to that queen. So that's not cool. Alright. We're still waiting on speed. Alright guys, so we are in fact very, very behind, um, which really sucks, um, but it, <laughs> this is what happens, man, this is what happens. And I think what we're going to do is actually blind, uh, go Roach's blind, because I have a feeling that he's he's going Banelings. He got gas super early, so um, we need to make sure that we've got some sort of 
baneling anti-baneling tech and of course the good old roach is a very good anti-baneling tech and of course once again we fail to make overlords um right i'm gonna see if i can get into his base for a quick scout with this here with these here zerglings so so you it's a good idea to send um them in like this so so that the queen starts attacking. Under attack. Yep. Just as I suspected. There are banelings a coming. Definitely banelings coming. But we're going to be ready. We're going to be ready with our roaches, baby. Right. We're also going to take up because at this stage, um, I think we need to out-tech him. Um, just because we're not doing too well on the macro side of things. In fact, we're doing absolutely terribly um, on the macro side of things. So. Our forces are under attack. Alright, so that that wasn't actually too bad. Um, and we and somehow we made a spare queen, so that was pretty good. Alright, so at this stage we're in defense mode. Um, and we are expecting, I would say, he's going to transition into Mutalisks, definitely, at this stage. So we, we need to make sure that we um, are prepared for that. And I think what I think we're just going to go for Mutalisks of our own. Um, I want to see if I can get into his base, actually. Um, I'm definitely going to go into his base with this o this Overseer that I've, that I've built. That's definitely getting sacked. Right, I want to see if he's expanded too. Ooh, did you see that, guys? I didn't see any. Um, I didn't see any anti-air. All I saw was zerglings and roaches. Um, so you know what that means. That means our mutilus might win us this game somehow. Uh, our forces are under attack. Metamorphosis complete. Hmm. All right. Time to try and do some damage with um, with Mutilus. This is our chance to get back in this game. Um, because I think he's gone pretty light on anti-air tech there. Um, he's going with loads of bandings and stuff, so um, we're just going to build some mutilists. We're not going to dedicate everything to mutilists, but just a few. Um, and we're going to try and hit that expansion. He, he, I mean, he, he did build a, sp a spine crawler there, so and he, he hasn't actually spotted my, um, my zergling, which is sweet. Man, I'm, I'm, I, he's deaf. God damn it! That was a pretty good banning attack.
Now we need to pump out the roaches, man. And when I say pump out, I mean goddamn pump out. See, what did I tell you, man? What did I tell you? Okay, this is sweet. This is sweet. This is this gives us a lot of time. Um, what? All right, we're actually going to attack at this stage. Um. We're gonna rally point here. What I should be doing actually is taking out these um, these spine crawlers. So in we come with the roaches. I think we may have just taken this game from him. Um, we're not gonna throw it away though. Wow, this is a huge battle. Focus fire time. Um, man, did I send my queen in? It looks like I did. Man, that sucks. Either that or um, my queen died. All right. Now's the time to send in a whole bunch of Zerglings. Our forces are under attack. And now's the time to also check for expansions, definitely. Okay, so I think we've got this, guys. I think we got this one in the bag. But um, we just we can't throw it away now, you know what I mean? This this is not the time to um, to get cocky, shall we say. Um, what we do need is more hatcheries, though, because we need... Well, he's going to see that my army's looking pretty light at the moment, although I've got these roaches back here, so... Um, I think I'm going to expand. Because he's he he obviously has to expand now, um, so we're gonna we're gonna get some hydras and roaches. We just we're basically just gonna build um, a big a big enough army now just to take him just to take him out. There's my little queen. Mineral field depleted. What are you doing over there, bitch? See what I should have been doing is droning up. That's what I should have been doing. Right, so we're gonna we're gonna go and apply some more pressure to him, um, just so that we can get our expansion going for one. Ooh, beautiful. Intercepted, and I actually saw I saw even more units here. So he's done pretty well there. Um, see, he did exactly what I wanted to do by attacking me and um, and distracting me. Um, and I, he's probably tr he probably I mean if he should have expanded at the same time. You know, if he wanted to do that properly, then he should have expanded also. Um, Mineral field depleted. 
So I'm going to send my mutilus to check if he's actually um, expanded. Because my guess is that he has. Because that's exactly what I would have done. And of course we, we're rally pointing all of our hatcheries to this location um, right now. And it looks like we lost all of our queens, which is um, not a good thing. And yes, we did. We did lose all of our queens. Slowly expanding the creep highway. Just make sure that we're harvesting... Um, Build some hydras and zerglings. This this third expansion is basically what's going to win me the game. I think as long as I can um, start using it better. Build some overlords. Our forces are under attack. Got to get our hydras up there asap. Mineral field depleted. Look what I found. Our forces are under attack. That um, that gold expansion is not good times for me. That I gotta that I gotta say, um, it's definitely not good times for me. So I gotta try and I gotta try and take that gold expansion out, basically. And I think the way that I'm gonna do that is with with zerglings. Oh my god! I did, they're not even speed zerglings. Ain't that some shit? Just gonna snipe it. Mineral field depleted. Mineral field depleted. All the mineral fields are being depleted. Right, this is the battle. This is the deciding battle, basically. We need to get our Hydralis to focus these Mutalists down. Right, we've got a good arc here. And it looks like we may have just taken this game by the sniff of our pants. Right, now we're just going to go, we're going to go pure mutilus now to try and, um, we're going pure mutilus now to try and win the mutilus battle. Because we've got the, um, we've got the advantage. We've got the macro advantage basically, so, oh yes, and this expansion is, is, is up, oh god. Oh my god, I've just been building uh, overlords. The hive cluster is under attack. Okay, so this isn't a good thing because um, I've been building. I've been pressing V instead of T, basically. Uh, 
and building overlords instead of uh, hydralis. So, um, not good times. Not good times at all. Um, come on, come on, Mutilus. Come on. Okay, we've got a strong enough Mutilus army now, I think. We're gonna get some Mutilus upgrades also. Right, we're literally just ramming out Mutilus as, as many as we can. As soon as you get the macro advantage, um, I think Mutilus are a really good option. Um, just because they have to build more Mutilus or more Hydras than you to try to match your advantage. And I mean, he's long distance mining at this stage. So, you know. See, as you can see, so now I'm just going to dominate him in the air. Um, there's not much he can do about it, really. Okay, so guys, I think that is the bag. That is the game in the bag. Um, we just got to make sure that we don't chuck it away now right at the end. But um, I think that that is pretty much GG. So um, I hope you enjoyed this game. Slightly longer game, but a very interesting ZVZ nonetheless, I think. Um, it was certainly fun to play. And he's definitely going to try with a, a full-on counter-attack, I would think. But um, it's not going to work at this stage. At this stage, our um, Mutilus army is just ridiculous. It's just going to rape everything. And that was a GG. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, a, a, a little bit of a different ZVZ. But man, that was sweet. <laughs> Victory. Um, guys, if you have any comments on that game, what could I have done better? What did I miss? Um, or if you just want to comment on the game, please do. And thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the next StarCraft 2 video. This is Randog signing off.